3, 2, 1, we are live and today we have Shivnash. Shivnash is, you know, Malab Sabse Jo Khubsurat. I think probably arguably the most beautiful username Kisi Bandai Ka Agar Ho Sakta Na, To Wo Hai Imperfect Mentor. Like, <laughs> the perfection in that imperfect sentence is so beautiful, you know. And Shivnash is like, have like 180k followers. Shivnash is a founder. He, he, he teaches courses, etc. So Shivnash, I, I am enjoying career. You know, Shivnash is joining us all the way from India. So Shivnash, can you please take the mic and introduce yourself? Perfect. Uh, my wonderful, first of all, uh, I think you said it very well. My name is Shivansh, not Shivnash. Uh, so, uh, uh, to give you a quick introduction, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I've been in this market, in the entrepreneurship market for like six, seven years, I think, uh, right out of college. So during the college, I was hustling out there. Uh, I was doing internships, working with a lot of people. Fortunately, I gained a lot of offline experiences. And fortunately, I started my journey with sales. And thus, I knew how to present myself. I knew how to storytell. I knew how to sell myself. And naturally, I came into entrepreneurship background because I'm also a baniya. And if you already know, if you're a baniya, you a business school, let's say, people say. And that's how the things have been by, uh, currently we have multiple companies right now. We're trying to consolidate everything under the brand name of imperfect group, like imperfect mentor came in very uh, abruptly. We didn't plan it. Uh, we started our username with Shivansh Garg and suddenly somehow one day we were just thinking that, okay, uh, I, I responded to someone and that's when I figured that these two keywords look very beautiful together. And now imperfect is our identity under imperfect group. One is our imperfect university, wherein we help people grow on Instagram. Second, uh, we're doing a lot with Imperfect Agency, wherein all kind of production, ads, uh, YouTube, digital uh, influencer marketing, all kinds of agency stuff we do under the brand name, wherein we uh, work with other people who do not do everything ourselves. And then we have a song company named Gift a Melody that we're also consolidating under the Imperfect brand name. Uh, and a couple of more things that we do with the bigger brands on a B2B length around AI and Instagram. That's brilliant, yeah. Mashallah, Mashallah. You know, it's a hard time which manage of the Batadi is comprehended. We will have time like a bucket. Like it, uh, let's start with your agency. <laughs> so, the main source of income, what's your main source of income, and what's your priority when it comes to business? Well, it's a time consolidating, it's a passive cost of the day. Yeah, uh, I'll say this so, uh, Naval talks about this, like, you know, there are four kinds of leverages in life. Uh, weaker leverages are towards capital and people because that's something that anyone can all any which ways throw money and figure out and do that themselves as well. But the larger larger leverages are distribution and code. Coding is now replaced with AI. So that's where we're uh, like majorly spending our time. We've been fortunately able to build different passive incomes. So there's a lot of money that keeps coming in. Uh, money is not an issue. And now we're spending most of our times, we're spending most of our money towards building these distributions and AI basically helping people grow and building that agency uh, so that we can control the distribution market of India. We've already helped uh, people grow 5 million followers in last four months. In 2024, the target is 100 million followers with our community, along with them making 100 crore rupees. So basically everything around distribution. And with the AI, we're helping B2B companies uh, automating their workflows. Okay. So or AI is, you're using AI to automate workflows as well as you're using, uh, you're, you know, leveraging content for companies. Yes. Okay. So how, why, okay, let's start with the simple one. You know, why is a personal brand really important for someone in this day and age? That's a, that's a really great question, Bhai. It's simple. Uh, if you talk about three circles, money, fame, and power, you would see that for the longest time, you would see 1% people in money, probably 0.1% in fame and 0.01% people in power. Now we all looking at these things. But you think about this in the last 50 years, the fame circle has grown massively. Earlier, you used to see only the people with Bollywood or the cricketers or such kind of people in this fame circle. Now, every gali mohalle mein influencer ghoom raha hai. 8 crore log apne aapko creator bolte hai. The reason why this is happening, because first, it has become easier to be, uh, get a personal brand. 
and second when you have eyeballs into you what are you doing with the business you're essentially trying to market yourself you're essentially putting a billboard out there saying that hey this is the service that i do you come around with me when you have a personal brand that's like a billboard that's a walking billboard every day if you have 100k followers which means every day if you get 100k views it simply means imagine every day 100k people are looking at you now imagine spending that money on a billboard if you can get all that for free and also people now understand who you are if i have five companies to choose from if i know who is bilal i would be much more looking to work with you as compared to the rest of the four companies so that becomes your moat as well because people know about your story people know about your journey and that's why you see every big entrepreneur across the world trying to get into the game of distribution trying to get in the game of personal brand okay and how do you help him how do i help them uh, we help people with everything bhai so <laughs> when it comes to content it's about figuring out your uh, customer persona your niche your brand persona once you figured out those things figuring out uh, the scripting the ideation of uh, the, the scripting the uh, ideation the reels shoot the edit all the thing basically end to end spectrum we figured a lot of hacks about the instagram we figured a lot of easy ways if you see some of our biggest influencers none of them uses any fancy setups none of them has any editing teams they do all things by themselves because that's what we believe in if you can do something for free why do you need to pay up for it that, that's beautiful and uh, so we help people with everything by you come to us and we'll do everything end to end for you okay so, so you know just like it let's take it practical you know uh, let's go deeper for example i came to you you know and i have a personal brand i'm, I'm an author you know and i'm someone who was a psych- student of psychology and philosophy and religion i come to you and i want to grow my personal brand how what exactly would you ask me and how exactly would you help me grow that that's a good question the first thing bhai will sit down and figure out an ideal customer persona okay what it means is basically we'll sit down and figure out that okay who can you help uh, or rather who do you want to help and who can pay money for your help let's say you mentioned you're an author that would be in a specific segment let's say uh, when we started our content journey we or let's say we talk about my money making program or instagram program the money making program was simple that our ideal customer persona was someone who's struggling with money that's who we wanted to help now who can pay us money we figured someone who's already making 50000 a month who's a 28 year old person who lives in tier 1 who knows how to speak english this is a person that i can help the most in the most easiest way because i also have to understand there are 150 crore people in india and i cannot help everyone so i need to figure out who it is easiest for me to help so that's what we'll do with you that okay based on your knowledge based on your curiosity based on what do you like who is the person that you can easy, most easily help and this person should be who can also pay you money if your objective is to make money if your objective is to make an impact then of course this does not matter sure. once you figured out this the second would be brand persona uh, if let's say if i talk about brand persona think of this in a spectrum of let's let's think of terms of a quadrant there are four things that matter when you're sitting when i'm looking at you on instagram or youtube or anything the clothes that you wear the background that you have the words that you speak and the tonality or the speaking style that you have imagine these four things now sure. uh if you play with the, these elements let's say if i am giving you a gyan in my way i am a very authoritative person i i give gyan in a very dominant personality that you got to freaking do it i don't care if some people are getting offended by it now imagine i am doing that in a in a sadguru kind of an attire <laughs> okay. right and imagine me sitting in a gaming kind of a setup wherein you see heavy uh, gaming setup in behind me now this is a persona you'll remember you'll talk to your friends about it it's not more than my content it's going to be about that hey have you seen this guy who sits in a sadhu kind of a persona but speaks in the most raw format and he's in a gaming uh, setup right so these are the first two things that we work on uh these are the things people do not people always talk about that hey let's create your content dude first let's figure out what would people see because when you were even watching movies or content or anything for that matter you looking how do i perceive this person when i look at a bollywood movie i am trying to live that life why saas bahu serials work why big boss works because there is not something very fancy happening in my life and i love to see other person's life and i love to have a relatability angle and uh, that's what content is by aspirational yet relatable the more you're able to create aspirational yet relatable work okay that you know that that comes to a great point so 
you know, there, there are two types of content because I'm a content myself. So there are two types of, you know, personas. There's, there's one persona which is really, you know, like Harry Minati, you know, or any, you know, YouTuber type persona in which you can relate to linguistic or your articulation is very good, you can understand it, you can relate to it. Other than that, there is an educated persona who you cannot relate to, but you know, because of his uh, alpha, alpha looking personality, you can seduce him. Or yep. So what what do you uh, you know in your in your uh, according to your uh, own as I, theory, yeah. As I said by aspirational yet relatable. If you can combine both of them, great. Even if you are one of them, it's super. And what it is aspirational. For most of the men out there, for young kids, they've never seen an a good alpha figure in their family. Because in India, most of the people are struggling with money. And when your dad is struggling with money, it's very difficult to have the real respect for them. And when you see Andrew Tate and you see someone who can open, who's making money, who can openly talk about the problems that I'm facing on a day to day basis and who's unapologetic. That's when I see that, okay, this is what I wanted to become. And that's why Andrew Tate was a phenomena. What, what do you want to become? What do I want to become? That's a great question, Mai. Uh, honestly, uh, to like a lot of your people who are watching this might not like it, uh, but we're also figuring out that for ourselves. Because people want to live in absolute world. People want to, people assume that, hey, if I'm a mentor, I should know everything. If I'm helping people grow. The idea is life is a journey. And that's why I named myself Imperfect Mentor. I am open to making mistakes. We started with the content, bhai, I'll tell you my journey. We started with being an elder brother and a bada bhai to college students in India. And uh, we figured that it's a great persona. But first of all, uh, they cannot pay us enough money. And second, they would not understand enough things. They're not at that level. They have not seen that enough pain. As compared to someone who's in 28 years old, who has a lot of EMIs, who have a lot of pressure of family, who has a fiance to take care of, this person would understand more. This, this person has more pain. And this is who I want to help more. So now our angle would be like, I consume very high level content by, uh, in terms of being in my entrepreneur journey. I've helped companies raise millions of dollars. I've helped companies grow millions of users for free. Now, the kind of knowledge that I have, I was drumming it down to an extreme level to cater to this college audience. But now the idea is I want to establish myself as a credible person, someone who knows enough about a lot of things. Uh, everything from biohacking to geopolitics. I have enough information about all these things because I'm a really curious person. And uh, if I want to be a great entrepreneur, I need to know about my health. I need to know about what's happening in the world. And that's how I want to position myself. Okay. You know, the fun thing about, you know, you know, one thing I, which I really related with you was that one of my personalities kind of the same as well. So one day I will be talking about religion, the other day I will be talking about content, the other day I will talk about marketing, and the next day I will be talking about, you know, the geopolitical situations, etc. And people kind of are, they tell me, bro, you know, niche down, niche down yourself, you know, talk, talk, stay in one line, stay in a one topic or one subject or one niche. And... So how do you see that advice? I always believe that you are your niche, niche, you know. Bilal is the niche. So, okay. You know, Shivaj yes, is, the, you, is you, the niche. You talked about, you mentioned two great pointers. First, I would say that what all people say is right, for sure. If you stay in one niche, it's easier for people to resonate with it. It's easier for people to grow. Because let's say even as uh, when you talk about consuming content, there are very few people that we would go for all the knowledge. I would go to Andy Huberman when it comes to fitness. I will go to Ryan Doris when it's come to achieving a flow state. I would go to Chamath and All In Podcast when it comes to geopolitics and what's happening around the world. So we ourselves do that. I will not want to sit down and take a fitness advice from Nikhil Kamath, but I'm happy to sit down and take an entrepreneurship advice from him. So that's true. We also do that, bhai, right? Uh, there are very few people in the world who can carve out a niche out of themselves. Just because people love the way you speak and people see that, okay, this is the person that I can look forward for everything. And there are very few people who can do that. And also with that, you still have to figure out that, okay, who is my audience? What are some of the core pain points I want to hear? If I am catering to, let's say, a college student and I start talking about geopolitics, this person would say, fuck off. This person can hear me out if I'm talking about every problem that he's associated with it. So even if you want to create your niche, figuring out your audience and understanding their pain points is very important. I understand. You know, yeah, that, that's actually true. But there's another philosophy as well, you know, when it comes to content creators. There's the ego, you know, another philosophy that mm -hmm. make what you want to make and let people come to you. How, how do you see that? Yeah. 
honestly i think that's a bullshit philosophy bhai uh, <laughs> uh why i say that uh, is because it's great if you creating content for your own love it's like saying that hey uh, i want to play football i don't care about winning it's great bhai go ahead and play but if you serious if you want to play national there has to be a discipline there has to be an understanding of the game that you need to have and if you do something that you love then you have to say that okay this is my passion i'm not here to make money and that could be great and there are in the, then people talk about edge cases see edge cases appear everywhere there would be people who just followed their passion and struck the success struck the gold but it's just handful of people 99% people that you would see they were chasing their passion simultaneously they were putting it in a system you have to put in constraints that okay uh, even if i am let's say an artist even if i am a painter these are the things i would paint these are the things i would not paint at least i should know what i'm not going to talk about yep. and uh, that's why i say it's a bullshit philosophy that if you want to make money it does not work if you there for your own art then do whatever the fuck you want by people yep. are there to listen to everything yep yep you're right yep i actually agree to that i actually agree to that that you know you <laughs> should be you should be you should actually be a little mindful of you know the people who you're making content for especially if you want to grow and if you want to you know actually monetize yeah. your content Okay. And so, just adding one more thing to it, it could be great if you're starting it up. Like, uh, if if you're someone who does not, uh, like, for anyone who's watching this who has not ever created content, go ahead and just put something out, dude. I was just creating, uh, recording our uh, domination 2.0 program for Instagram, and this is what I was saying. That dude, do not get into philosophies. Get into just fucking push it out, bro. You want to run Olympics? The first thing you'll do is wear your shoes and start running downstairs. Whoa. And simultaneously, we'll look at a longer plan. The first thing is whatever you curious about, just get in front of the camera and start talking. Definitely, that's one of the biggest things. You know, people are sh- the the biggest thing. You know, the problems that we are discussing are pe- for uh, people who actually have created like hundred to hundred videos. You know, yep. for for a starter, you actually need to put it out. Whatever, however shit your video is, that's the whole point. It would be shit. It would be shit for the fiftieth time, the sixtieth time, but eventually, maybe the hundred time, it would be better. You know, the the two hundred time, it might be the per- the best version of what you might see want to see you know so it, it's all in the process and definitely you know you need and, if, and the best thing is that while you're doing all of this you actually learn the craft you actually understand the craft and you actually understand you know how you deliver what you deliver and how you want to deliver what you deliver so that, that's the best makes sense uh bhai i'll uh, quickly show you one thing for this the the angle that we're talking on uh, okay. to give you more context I was just working on this, so this would make a lot of sense for anyone who's watching this. Sure. Um, right. So uh, we talk about a lot of analogies because it's very important for you to get in the mi- mindset. Once that's yeah. done, Definitely. the first thing that we teach people is instantly kickstarting with MVP. I gave you a basic understanding of the game. I gave you why you should start with content creation. The next step for me is instantly kickstart it. In this, this is these are twenty-minute videos where I'm just saying that hey, just go run with something. and then i take a deep dive now these videos that i'm talking about niche selection ideal customer persona these are videos with 20 minutes each like this these three videos these three videos were cumulative 15 minutes because the idea was to get you started and then i say here that if you've created more than 50 reels then you jump on this section and let's take a deep dive into everything so uh that, yeah bhai that's, that's how it should work that that's such a brilliant uh, you you know thing that you have loaded the curriculum that you have created is it is it a course or something it's a course by so basically uh we we figured that like we have an instagram workshop we have an instagram course then we have coaching program so this is a course that people can go ahead and enroll in and basically get all our instagram knowledge like we created this program in a way everything about instagram that we have known or we have learned is going to be here so it it makes me curious or it makes me want to ask you that how did you get into the content you know industry or the content creation <laughs> What what was what was the uh, story? Yeah, I've been someone. Uh, so one of the problems that I have had in my life, I've I've chased. Uh, I'm someone who has a shiny object syndrome. Like there's this something new shiny, and I want to run towards it. So by I started my first business, we we had a lot of money coming, and imagine you coming up to me telling me that hey, she wants to take my money, and I'm like, I don't want to do that, dude. And I'm struggling at my home. This was the kind of a person I was after two years after the COVID. uh we went through a lot of things and we realized that this free money we started making free money and the day we achieved let's say we we went on a run rate of almost uh, 30 40 lakh rupees a month by without doing anything fixed vendors constant money everything automated and i just left that business i handed over to my brother and i started traveling and then i did multiple stints helped different companies achieve different things 
and then i figured that hey i can create content now i am someone i knew my speaking skills are great i know that i can impart knowledge to people because i've been on so many stages stages even before i started content the first speaking that gig that i had was by a 9 when i was 19 years old i was speaking with a panel of there were two more speakers one would uh, one was the founder of josh talks and one was the founder of uh, one more company now josh talks is a huge brand in india now uh it was even back then so the idea was i was speaking out there and i realized that i know how to captivate audience and thus i should get in content so it was a self belief uh so even with self belief you have to be realistic yet again aspiration okay i know i have a certain skill set i know i can build 10 more things let's fucking get into it and that's how i did it bhai but yeah that that's cool you know that for me it was kind of the opposite it was like you know i wanted to explore and i was you know i, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to explore. Just I just wanted to explore myself uh, talking because I was really shy and I was really, really, uh, you know, not very confident. I was bullied, etc. I was really insecure at that time as well. So I just started, you know, making videos as an avenue to express myself and I open up myself. And eventually, you know, it, it, it done really, it done me really well that now that I'm a public speaker as well myself. So yeah, you know, just, content teaches you a lot of things. Honestly speaking, we, you know, sometimes really, journal, just like journaling, blogging. you know content reading content is one of the most you know i i believe you know how we tell kids that you should read you should write i think in the coming days we would tell people you should make content as well to improve yourself for sure for, for sure bhai for sure uh so, interestingly one of the things we tell uh, i'll add one more thing to this and one of the things we tell uh, some of our people who is starting on instagram for let's say someone like you I would have said to you on day one that hey, start with the long form. So the one of the exercises that we give. So we have a lot of exercise. So two things, why? First of all, we understand that uh, there is nothing that you can achieve from day zero. There has to be a ladder that has to be created. And uh, a human is a gratification person. Like human beings are made to to have gratification. Unless like you cannot go and play cricket and get out on bowled on hundred straight days. You will say fuck you, Shivansh. I don't want to play this game. So how do I make it interesting enough for you that you can do this simultaneously? For someone like you, I would have suggested that hey, I want you to just do a Zoom session for two hours and send it to me. Just send it under Zoom. Talk about anything that you want. Do not try to create content because as soon as you try to create content, you will try to appeal it. Uh, you will try to think that okay, would people like it or not? I don't want you to get into a performance pressure. Yep. I want you to put yourself out there. So uh, yes, why? So it's it's a great thing what you did. Okay, so let's come to your agency. You know what? Uh, but, but let's just ask you one thing. You know, you're telling me that you're from a Badia uh, family, right? <laughs> yeah. And actually, I saw a video the other day about how you know it's from the top five families in the world which have the most wealth, and how the uh, four out of five sharks in Shark Tank India are Badia. I was actually yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was actually watching a video and I was like, yeah, that's nice because I knew about Jews that they had some really, you know, some genetic code that helps them do business, but I didn't know about Bunny <laughs> and I came to know about Bunny just last the other day. So it, it means that your father was a businessman as well. Yeah. Or someone in your family. So you were. Yes, yes, yes. So why didn't you pursue that? Why didn't you help your father or anything? Ah, that's a great question. I, uh, by uh, first of all, I don't think it's about genetics. I think it's about the culture. It's about the environment. It's about yeah, what you've yeah, been conditioned culture, from day zero. Nature. It's not about nature. It's about nature. Uh, because yeah, uh, that's that's the core thing. That how you've been conditioned from the early on. Because uh, I didn't see a lot of people doing jobs on my early on. Like I, literally, no one in my family. If I talk about it, everyone has business. Irrespective that business is a successful one or not, that's a separate thing. But it's a business. you run your own boss you ha- you set your own timelines you do shit your own way so there was no concept of a job i used to live in a joint family uh, i have like banias have huge families bhai duniya rishtedar hai hamari but ab abhi jo ram mandir bana bhai my family uh, so from delhi to ayodhya they didn't go through a car they didn't go through a bike they didn't go through a bus they went through a train yeah. with an entire train of them like cool. imagine one fucking entire train of family relatives friends going together right. so uh so most of the people that I saw in my life I have been businessman uh, why didn't I join my father's business because uh, honestly he was struggling he was struggling massively when i was in 12th class there were some very harsh things that were happening due to the business at our family massive money problems and uh, i told my parents that hey let me quit school let me quit everything and just join the business i know i can freaking kill that 
and but my mom held the ground she was like no dude i'll not let you leave studies uh your your father has sort of struggled with business uh even your uncle so i would rather want you to get into the job world and get stable because i want you to be happy and i do not want you to be struggling for your life so um that's the decision my mom took and then uh after my college i realized i want to get into business and i realized that rat so another thing i realized that if i go ahead with my dad's business there would be conflicts uh because i don't know matlab he would not understand me i am not ready to understand him because i'm a teenager i now understand my dad in a very beautiful way and now it's a massive piece but these were the years of early young men rebel years when you don't want to hear to your anyone especially your dad so i figured i'd rather start something of my own makes sense makes sense and But now by the way the idea is to include my mom dad my like i'm trying to now bring my entire family into my business we have a lot of things going on imperfect family yes bro imperfect parivar not just a family we're a parivar kya baat acha you know we often times mujhe bhi compliment milta hai ki yaar aap on camera bade authoritative lagte ho aapki baat mein you know you have a very low pitch uski wajah se aapki baat bahut achhi pahunchti hai you you have really way you know have a really good way with the mic and you articulate really well ye sare compliments mujhe hi milte hain you know people read the book and they see the author or the or the tag bio and they see the you know the accolades and the achievements chote moti jo hamari hai lekin andar se you know because we all fight self doubt we all fight the inner demons andar se jab awaaz aati andar se aati hai yaar ek imposter syndrome bhi aata hoga kabhi kabhi lagta hoga yaar main nakli to nahi kar raha zyada to nahi kar raha aapas ki baat hai main akele baitha hu shower mein bhi shower mein akela hu bhi raat hai lekin kya sacha aisa hai kya ye haqeeqat mein aisa hi hu main jitna main strong dikha raha hu duniya ko jitna main imperfect perfect lag raha hu duniya ko kya asal mein itna main hu aapki baat hai दो तीन चीजें बहुत सिंपल है I have crafted my life in a very curated way, bhai. I mean, very. I for the last two years, I can simply I I claim this uh, a lot of places. I am the most happiest person that I have seen in my life. Okay, that's not an exaggeration. But first of all, I do not know about your life, but I know from an outer perspective what I see, and I know that I have curated my life in a very personal way. I have my people say they have two, three, four friends. I am fortunate enough to say I have hundred friends, bhai. And for me, a friend is someone if I call a, call you at three a.m. in the morning, would you see my phone? whatever may be happening in your life would you see my phone wake up and come to me because i need your help i see i have a bunch of people in my life for that i have a great family because i communicate in the in the most easiest way i tell them let's say even if you're a friend of mine bhai and we go to smoke a cigarette every day and tomorrow today i say that okay i do i want to change my life i would straight away come to you and tell you bilal bhai you can do that i don't want to waste my life and thus i would not want to do this with you we'll stay in touch we'll stay friends but that does not mean that we got to meet every day So I've curated my life in a very, very uh, sorted way, and then first is with respect to your external stakeholders, your friends, your family, your partners. Ah, uh, unka value system acha hona chahiye. Second is internally, channelizing your energies in the right way. Once you combine both of these things, so you know low phases apne aap bahut kam aate hain. Or agar aate hi hai na, you knew how to deal with it because first of all you're internally very strong, and second you have external partners good enough. Like I do, I would not mind crying in front of my girlfriend. that's the kind of comfort that i have with her or my friends as well i would not mind for a man to cry in front of a man mm. however good friends we could be it's very difficult mm. right it's it's next to impossible mm. but i would not mind doing that and i give that comfort space to my friends as well although i do not it this does not mean bhai i like a lot of emotional creatures i do not i feel most of the people just cry for a lot of unnecessary reasons but if those are down phases that you have you should have right people around you and that's how i deal with it bhai uh i also have certain songs that i listen to if i'm ever in that zone i try to go deep into that zone i would specifically listen to those songs so that i can touch that nerve because i need to be grounded as well so once a week when i get these emotions i take an overload of these emotions for next 30 minutes i would just sit down with myself banter me myself with the fact that hey i can do 100x more things but the fuck am i stuck at this 
I would listen to all the songs that reminds me about my family, about things I want to do, about the responsibilities, about the private jets and the kind of lifestyle I want to achieve. I'll even cry even for a bit uh in yeah man that's that's how I would do it and then instantly I would be like now there's a bunch of like this is an emotional slingshot. And which means after 30 minutes now I'm a super like I'm a super even now I'm Goku a super Goku right. super Saiyan whatever. If that makes sense bhai. definitely makes sense but don't you see sometimes ye ye jo emotion hai ye bada important hota hai self improvement ke liye you know ye ha ye sometimes main to isliye bola na main har hafte usko karne ki koshish matlab jaise hi meko wo emotion touch hota dikhta hai main usko pakad ke khinchta rather than avoiding it i would accept that and i would use Haan. that to throttle myself like that that is something that would keep me motivated for a week i need to set a reminder to myself why am i doing this unless my why is sorted hmm. and this this feeling reminds me of my why that's that's amazing that's amazing acha ab aap bhi aate hain agency pe mujhe batao ki agencies pe log kafi khrab ho gaye khilaf ho gaye you know 2024 they're like agencies ka time is over it's dead what do you think yaar uh So I'll tell you, agency, na. Uh, we so we tried a lot of things last year. Twenty twenty three was a lot of experimentation around the content world. We tried different kind of agencies, didn't work. Take okay, a massive failures. We we burnt good enough money and time for the first six eight months. Right now, what we're doing, I tell you, uh, this this agency, these programs, this university, we're trying to accumulate everything under a platform. So if you go online, you'll see iOS and Android type of imperfect university. Very beautiful apps. the idea being one a person needs to grow on instagram so we give you that and then the all the other supports that you need with respect to running ads or editing by the way we don't ask people to run ads it's just simply if you're running a coaching program or a product and if you need help with ads uh, people come to us or let's you want to run a podcast or go on a youtube or sort of things we have different agency partners so now we operate like a just style in that sense uh by this end of this month we'll have 100 partners each in all of these categories and the idea is simple uh we are giving you one stop solution okay these are all the people in india who are good enough people that you can work with these are the first five people who have, we have worked with or are people have worked with and these are the reviews and you can simply go and work with them so we're not doing anything ourselves or the only agency thing that we're doing is a consulting bit so our uh, higher level coaching programs they are more of a consulting programs which means we would sit with you bhai we will plan everything for you we'll hire an external agency for you for executing if you need Our job is to give you that gyan and help you make more money and help you make more fame. That's true. Yeah, that's true. We're we're not doing things on our own self right now. We might do it again, but the first step is to partner up with the people. Uh, that if you are an expert, I'd rather partner up with you, learn with you for next six to twelve months, and then say, let's say our advertisement agency. We told them on day zero that hey, we're working with you because we see that we want to learn a lot of systems. Something that Alex or Mozi says. that hey i'm giving you money i want in next 6 months i want you my team to learn all of these things from you and then i'll pay you a recurring fee just to make sure that you also have an upside in teaching us mm. that's our current plan so in 2024 we're not putting out any agency that's going to execute stuff we might put out one agency whose job is going to be making things viral uh it's it's going to be a different kind of an agency wherein our job is just to utilize a lot of ghost pages to help people give them the right kind of reach Yeah, yeah, that that. Okay, so sustainability, sustainability. So, you know, we all sometimes, perhaps all the time, both come log viral होते हैं. लेकिन जो viral होते हैं, वो एक peak पकड़ के गिर भी जाते हैं. Content में sustainability बहुत issue है. Self shelf life बहुत थोड़ी है. Content creator की, एक YouTuber की सात साल है, तो शायद एक आ reels वाले की शायद दो साल या तीन साल है maximum. तो how do you sustain yourself as a creator? You grow with the market. uh you let's say you look at ranveer alapatia beer biceps i might not like his content people make fun of him that's that's fine of course that's a personal opinion but at the same time this is one of the only youtubers who's at that level who's changed himself multiple times for the last 10 years if you see his journey i remember i met him back in 2019 uh in an event and i asked him i, I had a habit who are you and he was like i'm a content creator and i'm like okay he might be someone he even exchanged cards and i don't even have his card now because i didn't care about him and then when i talk when i see his journey everything from fitness to ton of other things and now podcasting so you need to grow with the market you have to understand you have to be on the forefront of the market you cannot get way too comfortable 
Google is a prime example. Bhai, Google got comfortable. OpenAI came and kicked its ass. Yep. So the day you get way too comfortable, there are people who are ready to take up your share. Who pe- there are people who are ready to take up your food. So you got to be productive about it. You got to grow with the market. Talking about Ranveer Alabadia, you know, uh, I know that in his podcast, there are scientific things in his podcast, and I have seen those as well. <laughs> oh, Albert Einstein. Wala. <laughs> इस इसको इसको साइड पे कर लेकिन लेकिन यू नो दैट डूड बैक इन 2019 आई यूज्ड टू वॉच हिज कंटेंट इट इट वाज रियली वैल्यूएबल फॉर मी स्पेशली वन थिंग ही सेड दैट व्हिच रियली रिलेटेड विद मी एंड आई हैव स्टिल इट इन माइंड दैट ही यूज्ड टू से ही टोल्ड मी ही टोल्ड इन द वीडियो नॉट नॉट टोल्ड मी बट इट फेल्ट लाइक ही टोल्ड मी इन 2019 दैट लिंक्डइन is a platform in which you know aisa hai ki aap us pe jitna time spend karoge utni aapki net worth aur net worth badhega oh that was actually true you know maine usko us yeah. usse inspire hokke maine lender start kiya and actually us net usse general jitna time spend lender pe spend kiya utni mazboot meri profile hui do shayad experience utna nahi bada lekin logo ke nazron mein main zyada se zyada aa shuru hua aur net worth ko transfer badi so you know the these small things jo aapko connect karti hai badde ke sath friend ke sath so the real alawadi jab bhi koi baat karta hai mujhe yaad aata hai wo wala moment in which he, he took he gave me this advice and it felt like he gave me because i actually implemented it but it, it worked you know plus uh bhai i i like two three things to this uh one is people don't realize this ki yaar aapko na sab kuch nahi seekhna you you're not looking to learn everything from him let's say you, when you're reading a book people expect in a 299 rupee book mere ko brahmand mil jaye uh. are aisa nahi hota na dost 300 rupee kharch kare hai teen line bhi aapne apni kaam ki nikali unko apni zindagi mein lagao na gyan to bahut hai aapko samajhna hai what is one thing that is right for me right now that i can execute so if you look at ankur wariku raj chamani anyone see i might say that okay they are masi people i read okay I'll, i'll tell you this i read ankur wariku's book just to figure out a lot of flaws matlab i wanted to create book reviews and i wanted to take the anti uh, positioning of the books and i was really fascinated that, that it's a good decent book matlab there are definitely flaws that i can point out but at the same time i want to agree like people people do not like people love to diss on people who have grown so there are people who would say that hey ankur wali ko is cringe and when i tell them that hey i loved his book people are like shivansh i don't expect you to say this because they expect ki bas at time aap dusro ko diss karo i am genuinely like the fact that he was able to break down difficult concepts into easier concepts and that was a quick revision history for me all the larger concepts that i have written or uh, uh, read he was able to break them down in a very easy thing And I was like, "Tik, yeah, it's a good refresher course." That's how I can see that. And when you talk about growing audience, why the second thing that I was saying, even with my content, as you asked, I created, I imparted knowledge, I learned the game of content on a on a specific set of audience. But now I'll be creating content for a for a different audience altogether. I'll be teaching people how did I how have I biohacked myself, or I will teach people uh, why geopolitics is important, or if you want to make money. how uh, how does india us trade relationships or us china relationships or a war significantly impacts what is and how things are happening i will i won't talk about investing i won't talk about the future of ai because uh, those are the things i consume because i want to be successful and thus i would need to have a spectrum of knowledge and that is what now i would be giving out to the people definitely so ek thoda karte controversial sawal puchta hu aapse you know just for just just for the audience Do you think Perfect. as 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 a you know someone who's really good in Instagram and content game and content marketing do you think is it's easier to grow a, a account or a page or whatever or you know an identity an online identity if you're a woman as compared to a man theek hai especially when it comes to blogging I, I don't think this is a controversial question at all it is a truth in lie matlab jo bhi insaan keh raha hai ki nahi hai aisa wo jhoot bol raha hai मतलब यू कांट यू यू कांट फ्रिकिन से समथिंग एंड से यार ये सच नहीं मतलब साइंस को नहीं आप फैक्ट नहीं कर सकते मतलब एक चीज अगर फैक्ट है एक चीज साइंस है सी इट्स वेरी सिंपल भाई मैं आपसे एक सिंपल सवाल पूछता हूँ एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आई वॉच द टन ऑफ वुमेन मैन हु एवर माइट बी वन वॉचिंग दिस सबसे ये सवाल है भाई आपके आगे मैं बैठा हूँ ठीक है बहुत सुंदर शक्ल है मेरी सब कुछ है जो भी है ये है ठीक है अब साथ में एक लड़की बैठी है बहुत सुंदर हॉट लड़की बैठी है ठीक है सेम बातें कर रहे हैं हम दोनों आप किसको सुनना चाहोगे भाई मैं तो लड़की को सुनना चाहूंगा वेरी वेरी सिंपल ठीक है एंड दैट्स हाउ द वर्ल्ड इज लड़के को भी लड़की सुननी है लड़की भी लड़की को सुन के ही खुश है लड़की लड़की को क्यों सुन रही है क्योंकि भाई लड़के ना कितना ही भाईचारा निभा ले लड़के यहां पर फिसल जाते हैं 
और लड़कियां कितनी ही एंटी दुश्मनी बन ले एक दूसरे से बट एज सुन एज दिसर ओके दर इज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ वुमेन तो उनको एस्पिरेशन लगता है कि मैं भी ये कर सकती हूँ मैं भी ये करना चाहती हूँ बिकॉज देर आर वेरी फ्यू वुमेन स्पीकर देर आर वेरी फ्यू राइट एंड वुमेन क्रिएटर्स आउट देर तो भाई एंड दैट इज वाई आई सिंपली से इट्स इट्स इट एन ओपन मार्केट इफ यूर वुमेन यू शुड डेफिनेटली गैर इन टू गॉन्ट इंड गैर इन टू रियल शेट डोंट गैर इन टू फैशन और सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वो ठीक है दो हजार सैचुरेट मार्केट ट्रैवल फैशन यू कैन स्टिल डू दैट गैर इन टू डोप शेट गैर इन टू मोटिवेशन बिकम एन इंस्पिरेशन गैर इन टू रियल शेट दैट पीपल गेट्स मोटिवेटेड बिकॉज भाई टेल मी हाउ मनी वुमेन मोटिवेशन स्पीकर कैन यू थिंक ऑफ टू Hardly, you talk about men motivational speakers. I can give you a list of hundred. Yeah, you're, you're in every field. That's right. Yeah. So it's a simple demand and supply game. Even if it's not about that, women को क्या लोग देखना ज़्यादा पसंद करेंगे भाई demand supply है. हम्म, बिल्कुल सही बात है. So finally, थोड़ा सा wrap up करते हैं. Conversation तो बहुत अच्छी जा रही है. मज़ा भी बहुत आ रहा है. बड़ी candid, बड़ी ना अच्छी vibe set हो रही है. You know, you have this in you. Mashallah. That, you know, <laughs> people completely might be for this. That you you make people comfortable, but I think it's you as well that you know you become very comfortable. You know you're very <laughs> organic, charismatic. That just see your balance. We start here, recording start here. You have become this this sunshine and you you know that this charismatic <laughs> and like. I love Kolu. I actually love all these other baby. Yeah, very thundy, beauty personality. You know, but you are keep. This is really cool. Okay. Lastly, what advice would you give to someone matlab content join hi kyun kare content join kyun kare paisa paisa banana uh, hai main ye bolne wala tha bhai content join karo paisa banane ke liye acha matlab uh, ranveer ala badia ki apne baat kari ek podcast mein ek episode bulane ka aapne mujhe yahan pe invite kiya hai bhai theek hai आ, मैंने आपको ना पैसे दिए ना आपने मुझे अभी पैसे दिए रणवीर अला बादिया एक इंसान से अपने पॉडकास्ट में आने के लिए अगर आज मुझे वहां जाना हो या आपको वहां जाना हो कितना पैसा खर्च करना पड़ेगा आपको आपको पता है उसके पॉडकास्ट ज्यादा ही फीचर होने के लिए हाँ आइडिया no कितना ये ये अच्छा है ये अच्छा है गिव मी अरेंज इंडिया में कितना होगा क्या पैसा हो सकता है इंडिया में टू मिलियन इंडियन रुपीज टू मिलियन कितना बीस लाख रुपए कह रहे हो आप सत्ताईस लाख रुपए लास्ट मंथ का रेट था भाई ठीक है दैट यू पे टू बी ऑन पॉडकास्ट नाउ नॉट सिंग दैट ऑल द गेस्ट पे हिज मनी द आइडिया इज बट ऑफ कोर्स नाउ इट्स अ पीआर व्हेन यू हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आप क्रिकेट क्यों देख रहे हो भाई क्रिकेट को आपको दिखाया जा रहा है बिग बॉस क्यों देख रहे हो आपको दिखाया जा रहा है उसमें एड क्यों चल रही है ब्रांड पागल तो नहीं है ना जो बी पागल तो नहीं है जो इतना पैसा बना रहा है किसी से पैसा बना रहा है ब्रॉडकास्टिंग राइट से ही तो पैसा बना रहा है ना दैट्स व्हाट आई थिंक व्हेन यू क्रिएट कंटेंट यू आर अ ब्रॉडकास्टर यू हैव योर यू हैव पीपल आईबॉल्स ऑन यू पीपल वुड बी रेडी टू पे यू एनी काइंड ऑफ मनी योर कस्टमर्स योर ब्रांड्स योर कोलैबोरेटर्स देयर आर शिट टन ऑफ मनी दैट पीपल वांट टू थ्रो एट यू इफ यू हैव इन्फ्लुएंस ठीक है एक लाख फॉलोअर पे अगर आप लाख रुपए महीना बना सकते हो अगर हमें ये समझ में आ गया कि यार यू कैन जॉइन आर प्रोग्राम्स एक लाख फॉलोअर्स आप बहुत इजीली कर सकते हो एक लाख रुपए महीने का बना सकते हो डोंट यू वांट टू डू दैट Why? For most of the people in India, they're struggling under thirty k a month. अबे एक लाख रुपए महीना easily बन सकता है तो क्यों नहीं बनाओगे यार? तो simple. Fuck fame, fuck everything. It's about money, भाई. पैसा बनाओ. उसके बिना कुछ नहीं है. दुनिया जो कहती है ना यार पैसे के बिना मैं तो मेरी दुनिया तो खुशी से चल जाएगी. भाई मेरे को मिलवा दो ऐसे चार लोगों से मैं नहीं जानता. घर में जब रोटी का पैसा नहीं होता ना फॉर ऑल द पीपल उसे कि अरे नहीं ऐसा वैसा. मैं simple कहता हूँ. The biggest advice I've given to all the kinds of my youngster friends or the the college students. कि भाई मोटिवेशन नहीं आ रही ना घर छोड़ दे चार दिन के लिए सड़क पे सोले चार दिन आ जाएगी मोटिवेशन जब सर पे छत नहीं होगी खाने को खाना नहीं होगा पहनने को कपड़ा नहीं होगा ना यूल गेट दैट फकिंग मोटिवेशन एंड दैट्स व्हाट यू कैन डू विद कंटेंट कंटेंट कैन गिव यू कैन कंटेंट कैन सपोर्ट यू विद ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड दैट्स यू शुड गेट इन टू इट बाई डेफिनेटली बुक्स पढ़ने का शौक है भाई आई हैव टू बुक लाइब्रेरी एट माई प्लेस फेवरेट बुक कौन सी है मार्केटिंग में आह यार आ, बहुत ही जेनरिक सवाल पूछ लिया है आपने फेवरेट बुक मार्केटिंग में बट काउंटर मार्केटिंग में चलो गेट दिस काउंटर मार्केटिंग में खास यार दिस इज बुक नेम्ड कंटेजियस इट टॉक्स अबाउट सो दिस इज रिटन बाय जॉन अ बर्गर दिस इज अ प्रोफेसर एट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पेन 
uh, this guy university of penn has a graduate fund of i think 50 billion dollars that professors use this guy has spent millions of dollars to study the biggest brands in the world understanding that why those brands appeal to a human so basically getting into a human psychology from a marketing standpoint of view so it's a great book uh, i read it 2 3 years ago now it's a refresher i make it a mandate for my team to read it uh, so it's a great book understanding everything by if you talk about content you have to just get into the unconscious mind no one is scrolling on instagram with their conscious minds we are not spending one hour because of our conscious minds we're doing it unconsciously and thus tapping into human psychology is the most important thing to understand why this shit works definitely very three okay finalize karte hain pehli baat to hai dubai ka baare ho dusri cheez ye hai ki kya kehte hain usko koi advice mere liye because i run a creative agency ठीक है अब हम सारी सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग कैसे हम सब कुछ करते हैं ठीक है उसके अलावा आई एम अकाउंट क्रिएटर बाई सेल्स आई एम ऑथर और पॉडकास्ट भी कर रहा हूँ सारा कुछ कर रहा हूँ कोई एक एडवाइस मेरे लिए कोई एजेंसी के लिए और फिर दुबई कब आ रहे हो ओके यार मैं 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 ओपन एंड एडवाइस बहुत ही कम देता हूँ कि आपको पर्सनल लेवल पर क्या करना चाहिए क्योंकि मैं भी आपके बारे में जानता नहीं हूँ आई जस्ट ए वन थिंग हैव यू इफ यू हर्ड ऑफ नवल रविकांत उनकी एक किताब है आलमनैक I would suggest you go and read that book uh because while reading that book you'll be able to think wh- which stage of life are you currently in what are you doing wrong and you'll be able so, to do the right things so body conversation ye to samajh kya hai aapko what what have you understood at this point yaar uh, honestly main to apne upar focus tha bhai main wo i'm a very self obsessed person main khud hi pe uh but to, uh, to be honest bhai i i liked how you reached out to me i uh, this is a very different tone that you have jo ye calmness hai aapke bolne mein ye bahut different hai ye apne aap mein kehte hai na usko matlab uh, people are different jo humne ka brand persona ki quadrant ki baat kari ye tonality aapki ek different cheez hai isko aap kaise kis cheez mein leverage kar sakte ho ye ek apne aap mein ek bahut badhiya cheez ban sakti hai uh, i think muslims ki mujhe ek ye cheez bahut best lagti hai jo arab world mein jo jis jo aapke shabd hai ki jaise aapne beech mein kuch bola uh, apne loves jaise shabd use kare ठीक है अब ऐसे शब्द बहुत सुंदर और बेहतरीन लगते हैं अब ऐसी चीजों को जब अगर हम मोटिवेशन में उतार के बोलेंगे तो मेरे ख्याल से एक बहुत ही डिफरेंट और अच्छा कॉम्बिनेशन बन के आएगा क्योंकि हम इस पर एक एग्जांपल देते हैं कंटेंट इज लाइक अ मार्केट इंस्टाग्राम हैज गिवन यू अ मार्केट अब आपको दुकान का खोलनी आपके ऊपर है या तो आप उस उस लेन में जहाँ पे सौ दुकानें टी शर्ट बेचनी है या उनकी तरह टी शर्ट बेच लो या फिर आप कहो यार एक जगह चाय बिकती है एक जगह सुट्टा बिकती है मैं दोनों बेचूंगा so combining two things is a high risk high reward game i think for you figuring out ye jo pyara pan hai isko main agar motivation jaisi aggressive cheez mein jod dun to wo kaisa kya nikal ke aayega kya wo ek khoobsurat cheez nikal ke aa sakti hai uh waisa kuch kehna chahunga bhai uske ilawa uh i think podcast is a great way to build networks with people to wo aap acche se kar hi rahe ho bhai isko uh as an agency as an individual podcast mein ek sabse badi dikkat jo log karte hain it's not about recording it's about post production it's about how many clips can you put out in the world because clips would go viral shorts would go viral no one cares about a 60 minute conversation between us i am no one you're no one Definitely. when you're living in a country with 150 crore people when you're living in a world with 700 crore people 150 uh, a 180k followers is nothing that's bullshit that's very less quantum of people so putting out shorts putting out clips is the most important thing that you need to do um and as an agency i would say bhai consolidate business you said we do everything we do a lot of things uh the more you consolidate the lesser things you do the better you would become i love to work with experts and that is why as i said we're just doing instagram right now we just do consulting we don't execute it for you we don't have a studio we don't do xyz things we have different partners that we help you collab with we simply say that we are best at this there would be other people who can do rest of the things so Nishing yeah, down and saying this is we one thing we'll do. We're, we're storytellers who love storytelling through motion <laughs> graphics. Actually, you know, so our nice. Yeah, motion graphics. Ke through, we stories. Not that. This is our niche. Hai. So anyhow. So, boy, I mean, if you identified that, so that's why you know. I mean, this is a generic advice. For me, it was a very big thing because, as I said, I've I've someone who's always shiny object syndrome. So for me, last one year has been consolidating everything that I had. under one thing and figuring out what is my hero service and only working on that not looking at ki acha aur paisa kahin se mil raha le lo so that was something that i my core learning in last one year and ha uh, bhai last cheez aapne kya puchi teen cheez dubai kab aa rahe ho dubai kab aa rahe ho ha ha dubai bhai abhi to definitely koi plan nahi hai aap tikte bhijwa doge to main aa jaunga baniya insaan hai na paisa kharch karna pasand nahi hai 
सबसे बेहतरीन जवाब बहुत मजा आया बात करके बहुत बहुत अच्छी आई वॉज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग यू नो बिकॉज थोड़ा कल्चर में फर्क है थोड़ी सी बातचीत में ऑब्वियसली जबान तो एक ही है समझ तो दोनों को इंग्लिश भी आती है हिंदी भी आती है उर्दू भी आती है लेकिन थोड़ा सा कल्चर से फर्क होता है थोड़ा सा एक बैरियर होता है कम्फर्ट के बैरियर को खत्म करना है एक्सपेक्टेड थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा दस मिनट हमारी इसी में बातचीत होगी फिर थोड़ा रिलैक्स हो गए फिर बात अच्छी होगी लेकिन द फ्लो वॉज रियल बहुत स्मूथ फ्लो जो जो भाई वाली वाइफ आपने दी और उसके बाद जो भाई वाली वाइफ मैंने भी आगे देने की कोशिश की बड़ी अच्छी गुफ्तु आई थिंक हमारा कॉर्डर में गुफ्तु की है हम इस पॉडकास्ट में हमने कॉर्डर बात की है हम एक फिलासफी पे एक साइकोलॉजी पे भी पॉडकास्ट कर सकते हैं वही बड़ा खूब बड़ा मजे का होगा इट वुड भी बड़ी आपके आपके लफ्जस्प I I love to have conversations भाई एंड uh, मेरे को इंस्टाग्राम की तो बातें करना बहुत ज्यादा पसंद भी नहीं है क्योंकि बहुत कर लिया यार वो मैं दिन रात कर ही रहा हूँ वो तो मेरा बिजनेस है ही मैं समझ आ गई है मैं समझ आ गई है कर दी हमने अगली दफा कर दिया है फलसफे पे और साइकोलॉजी पे बात कर दी हमने अगली दफा आप बेफिक्र रहे इन शाह आपने भाई मुझसे अपना अपने बारे में एक चीज पूछी क्या एक चीज मैं आपको बता सकता हूँ आप भी मुझे कोई एक चीज जितना हमारा कन्वर्सेशन हुआ दो दो लेफ्जों पे या दो लफ्जों भी नहीं दो एक तो हिंदी शब्द नहीं आते या उर्दू शब्द नहीं आते मुझे इतने अच्छे बट दो पहलू पे बता दीजिए एक पहलू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू यू इंटरव्यू टू लॉट ऑफ पीपल यू यूर सेल्फ इज पब्लिक स्पीकर एनी थॉट्स दैट यू हार्ड की सवाल जवाब जवाब थोड़े लंबे थे जवाब यहाँ पे थोड़ा कोर की हो सकता था कुछ भी ऐसा अगर कोई फीडबैक या थॉट अगर हो दूसरा भाई जो भी आपने सुना जो हम कर रहे हैं अगर उसके बारे में कुछ आपका थाट है तो आप भी बता दीजिए अच्छा पहली चीज़ तो ये है कि दो तीन चीज़ें पहली चीज़ तो ऑब्वियसली द ओपननेस जो ऑन कैमरा पर्सनैलिटी जो ऑन कैमरा कंफर्टेबिलिटी ठीक है ना जिस खूबसूरती से मतलब एक टाइम तो मुझे महसूस हो रहा था एज अ होश के शायद मुझे थोड़ा कंफर्टेबल करना पड़ेगा आई एक्सपेक्टिंग के जो यूजली होता है कि कंफर्टेबल करना पड़ता है आपको ऐसे सवाल करके भाई करके थोड़ा थोड़ा सा ह्यूमर डाल के थोड़ा मुस्करा के एक्सेट्रा लेकिन द वे द एनर्जी दैट यू ब्रॉड और द कम्फर्टेबिलिटी दैट यू हैड और द कैमरा इट वॉज ब्रिलियंट मुझे करनी नहीं पड़ी कोई एफर्ट ठीक है बल्कि शायद कुछ जगह पर मुझे अपनी गेम ऊपर करनी पड़ी कुछ जगह पर कि थोड़ा सा तुम होस्ट हो थोड़ा सा ऊपर गेम करो अपनी ठीक है तो दैट्स रियली रियली अमेज कि लग रहा है बंदे ने छः आठ साल काम किया ये वाला और लग रहा है बंदे की एक जनवरली पॉजिटिव वाइब है ठीक है जो कि रिफ्लेक्ट हो रही है ऑन कैमरा दैट्स ग्रेट अदर देन दैट सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस देखा था जो जुमला में रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा था जो सेल्फ बिलीफ जुमला में रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा था हम देख रहे हम कर लेंगे भाई बेफिक्र होगी वो वो जो एफॉर्मेशन है दैट दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल एज वेल के यू नो कॉन्शियसली वो बैठी हुई है दिमाग में कि हर हर जुमले में वो एक पुख्तगी वो एक एब्सोल्यूट फर्मनेस ठीक है एफॉर्मेटिव वो बड़ी अच्छी लग रही अदर दैन दैट वो थिंग विच आई लव द मोस्ट वॉज दैट यू नो यू लिटरली वो आपने अभी शेयर भी कर दी स्क्रीन यू नो आपने मैं आपसे पूछा कॉन्टेंट के बारे में तो आपने स्क्रीन शेयर किया अपना कोर्स के अपना आउटलाइन दिखा दी पूरी कि हम ऐसे से ये करते हैं ऐसे से ये करते हैं ऐसे से ये करते हैं शोज द वे हाउ मच एक तो इन डेप्थ नॉलेज दिखाती है अदर दैट डेट दिखा रही है हाउ मच यू नो द हाउ मच गिविंग यू आर बिकॉज द होल पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोकेशन आप देते हो देते हो देते हो फिर आपको मिल भी जाता है तो हाउ मच गिविंग यू आर यू 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 नॉट इनसिक्योर कि नहीं मैं दो चीज़ें दिखाऊंगा मैं किसी छुपा लूँगा या दो बातें बताऊँगा ऊपर ऊपर से बात करूँगा नीचे नहीं जाऊँगा गिराई में नहीं जाऊँगा ठीक है You were, you actually went with the flow, and you actually, you know, try, tried your best. Okay, whatever uh, space, we have, we try to get as much as possible. So that's something which I really like. And from that, I got that if we can get so much as possible, then we can go to the philosophy, the philosophy, the psychology, so much deeply. And it was very good. Absolutely, absolutely. It was very good. 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 प्रोफेशनल टर्म्स में मैट्रिक्स एनालिटिक्स ठीक है ट्रेंड्स इन चीज़ों में बातें करनी होती है तो उस लिहाज से ना रिलेटिवली बन नहीं पाते कंफर्टेबिलिटी भी नहीं बन पाती तो ना इंटरव्यू फील आती है मुझे भी ये और सर दो दो तीन पॉडकास्ट जो मैंने किए हैं काफ़ी इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू लग रहे हैं वो पॉडकास्ट ही लग रहे हैं लेकिन इस वाले पॉडकास्ट में पॉडकास्ट फील आ रही है इस वाले पॉडकास्ट में दोनों की एनर्जीज भी आ रही है दोनों की प्रोस्टैंडीज भी रिफ्लेक्ट हो रही है तो उस मुझे बड़ा मज़ा आया मुझे तो बहुत मज़ा आया आई आई एम ग्लैड भाई कि अच्छा लगा मज़ेदार यही ऑब्जेक्टिव होता है कि बैठे हैं तो कुछ अच्छा करके उठे बिल्कुल 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 ऐसा ही है आई होप द एनर्जीज आर लाइक वाइज फ्रॉम दोनों बोथ साइड ठीक है एंड रहेंगे अब यही दर्पज ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट के अब बातचीत भी हो गई है कैंटा फेस भी रिकॉल हो गया अब कलेक्टेड रहेंगे ठीक है एंड
बिल्कुल भाई आपने मोशन ग्राफिक्स का बताया अपना कि आप लोग वो करते हो तो आप ये सिर्फ शॉर्ट फॉर्म कंटेंट में लॉन्ग फॉर्म कंटेंट में किस कहाँ पे कैसे कैसे करते हो सब में अगर मेरे को एक यार एक स्क्रीन मेरी मॉम चल मैं भी बात मरता हूँ यार मैं कह रहा था कि बेसिकली अगर मुझे लच्चे एक रील में मोशन ग्राफिक्स दिलवाने हैं आप लोगों के थ्रू एडिट करवाना है सो हाउ मच डू आई पे फॉर दैट इट डिपेंड्स कि किस लेवल की मोशन ग्राफिक्स करना चाह रहे हो फॉर एग्जांपल अभी हम रिकॉर्डिंग द पॉडकास्ट ऑफ कर लेते हैं फिर आपको मैं कॉल पे आता हूं एक सेकंड हां तो मैं तस्वीर ले लूं पॉड इसके लिए मैं लगाता हूं स्टोरी के तौर पे जरा श्योर भाई ओके ये हो गया थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर लिसनिंग बाकी एपिसोड भी देख लीजिएगा एंड वी हैड दिस वाज यार मैं हम क्यों गलत गलत ले रहा हूँ यार मुझे बड़ी शिवांश 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 असल में थोड़ा सा ना शवी नाश पता नहीं मैंने किसी बात नहीं किसी मुझसे भी बात की थी तो मेरा वो मुझे चढ़ गया एम सॉरी खैर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग डू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब अच्छा